Okay, so like I was saying, on these, they may say hypos. I have one, two, three with caps. They may say that if they count the caps at your facility. And always, 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 when you are counting these, these already had the paper tag removed, but these will have a paper tag covering them. Always, you have to remove that and do each individual needle. Never touch with your fingers on the sharp edge of the needles. And if you have an unloaded knife handle, you can use this to point out sharps. Same way with this over here. I don't wanna place my finger in where my sharps are. So I can either point from above or use, again, an unloaded knife handle. And then I can point for my blades. One, two, free needles, one, two, things like that. So you can separate it out mm -hmm. that way. And let me see what else I wanted to point out. We already mentioned that you might see a stainless steel pull suction or a plastic one, but you still are accounting for each individual piece. So this is one, two, not just one, but because it comes apart, you have to account for both. And if you have a stainless steel yank hour, the tip screws off. So make sure that that is accounted for as well. You can see the serrations there for where it would screw onto that tip. We don't have it to show you, but that's, that's what it would look like. Whereas the plastic one, obviously, the end does not come off at all. So this is just one piece. Things that you are not going to be counting, obviously your drapes. You're not counting your suction tubing itself. You're not counting your labels, your marking pens, your rulers, your medicine cups, your aseptos. Let me see what else. Your acupuncture. Your acupuncture. Your acupuncture. Mm -hmm. Your green and blue towels, you do not count that, but you would count your white radiopaque towels. And you see that yellow marker on there. You would count your, your white towels, or they may call them radiopaque towels. Mm -hmm. Usually they'll call them white towels. Also remember, it's okay on the suture boots to count those in groups of two. Yes. Mm -hmm. so. so instead of going one, two, three, four, I said suture boots, and I said two, four, six, eight, ten. Mm -hmm. And with the mm -hmm. wet cartridges or hemoclip cartridges, we just count the cartridge itself, not Blues. each individual clip. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying one, two, three, four, because the clips themselves are going to remain in the patient. I don't know if I counted my bobby scratch or not on that last you video. Did. I did. Okay, good. Yeah, so okay. make sure. Sometimes they will go ahead and when they are counting their bobby tips, just so they remember, and they may even have the scratch already stuck on, on the... Uh, the holster, they may say booby tips, I have one, two, three, four, scratch, one, just so, cause they kind of go together or they do go together. So if you have a scratch, they may count it at that time instead of waiting until later on to count it like I did. Mm -hmm. So let me see. Mm -hmm. Categories um, of instruments that are counted as one uh -huh. category. Right, so then categories. So scissors, I don't, I'm not counting each individual name, you know, Lister Bandage, Curved Mayo. I'm just counting the scissors as a group. So I would just say scissors and count them as a group. Same with your, um, let me see, needle drivers, mm -hmm. things like that. Forceps, Forceps, knife handles, handheld retractors. Those are all things that we're counting as a group. Now this kind of depends on your facility as well, but right here, most facilities will count curved and straight instruments together. So if you see, these are all hemostats. We have curved hemostats here, and then the straight hemostats are right here. They would count those all together. However, some facilities will separate it from curved to straight. So just always ask your preceptor, or if you're doing your count and your circulator corrects you, you know for the next time that you're going to be separating curved from straight. But most facilities will just group those together by instrument. Mm -hmm. um, remember that the um, handheld retractors are counted as one group, mm -hmm. but a self-retaining retractor, like a Balfour, yes. Omni, Bookwalter, those have multiple pieces and would be counted. Mm -hmm. So your so larger self-retaining retractors like Balfour, Omni, Bookwalter, O'Connor O'Sullivan, mm -hmm. those type of retractors, you're going to count each individual piece, which especially with an Omni retractor can get up to 44 pieces. So you're not just saying Omni, I have one. You're going to say Omni and you're going to count each piece that comes apart because each piece has to be accounted for so mm -hmm. that it doesn't get lost inside your patient. 
but like a Gelpie, which is self-retaining. This doesn't come apart, so this would just get counted all together with your handheld. But the retractors that come apart, like the ones we just listed, you have to count those as their own category, their own group, and they're counted each individual piece. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, I was about, to, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. spinal needle. This kind of trips up students. So, I'm going to take that plastic covering off. So, this is a spinal needle. It has a little stylet that comes out of it. So, this is two pieces. So, when you count your spinal needle, you need to account for both and you're going to show your circulator. So, I would say spinal one, two, because it is two pieces. So make sure that you are counting that correctly when you count your spinal. Don't just include it as one hypo. If you're counting like that, you will say spinal needle one, two, like that. Mm -hmm. And your Keith needles, we already, mm -hmm. we counted those. And you never count your gowns or gloves or anything like that. You don't count the bovey cord. Only the tip of the bovi is what you are counting. And notice how I have this. It comes in your holster sterilely, either if you're opening it separately or it comes in your pack. It's gonna always come like this, where the tip is inside. But the rule is both pair of eyes, your circulator, which is an RN, and the CST, or two RNs that are counting, have to visualize each thing. So I can't just assume that there's a bovi tip on this. You can't just say bovi tip one. I have to pull this out and show, and just like I did, I just automatically had it ready to go like that, so that way it's one less step I have to do when we are doing our count. It's already visible, and it's being shown to my circulator. You do not mm -hmm. count light handles, or that's basically yeah. everything that we have on this. Now, we don't have, obviously, every countable item on this back table but this gives you a good example of what it how you would do a full surgical count pre-operatively mm -hmm. now if you're doing a count intraoperatively the surgery is already going on and the surgeon begins to close remember we've already talked about this but you start at the surgical site which is your patient then you go to your mayo then your back table, and then off the sterile field. And your circulator takes over when it becomes off the sterile field, but you still have to be visualizing it because both of you have to visualize it. And you have to see it, separate it, and you have to say it. And you always say the name first, and then the number of whatever it is that you're counting. So just like I did, hemostats, and then I counted them. I don't say the number and then the name. Always the name first of whatever it is, cotinoids, ray text, laps, and then you count the number.